Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I've done a bit of fishing this week. I went over to catch up with my buddy Dion. Been a bit of a look around his backyard. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, brother. Beautiful. Hold that. And back in. Stunning, man. Some amazing potential there. I'm definitely going to go back and um, we're going to catch up again, do some more missions. Watch out for that. Today, I had plans with Gareth. They fell through because he had to work. Boo. So I thought I'd take this opportunity and this weather and go for a bit of an exploration trip. Try and find some new water. I've been wanting to have a look at this river for ages. I've got the weather, just found some access. I've got no idea what I'm going to find. And that's half the fun, right? Almost at the river, then we'll set up. I'll talk you through what I'm using. Try and find some brown trout. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up, talk you through what I'm gonna use. Well, what I think I'm gonna use today. So, immediately looking at the size of this water she five weight time time to bring frank frank tank uh, if you guys don't know who frank is or what frank is it's the helios 3 f in a five weight that's gonna be bang on for this kind of water small water dry dry dropper kind of stuff perfect this is the guy you might even get an eat off the top today how'd that be and then I'm going to pair that up with the uh, Mirage LT. I think this is like a size 2. I don't actually know, I think it's like 3 to 5 weight. It's small, it balances this rig really nicely. Scientific Angler is infinity smooth. 5 weight, obviously, on that. It's just such a good line, I love it. And then I've got a 7 foot floating poly leader off of that. The last few weeks when I was in the South Island, that was, it was a game changer for me. Just with those massive long leaders and that wind and those bigger rivers and that kind of stuff it really helped yeah i've got that down to a tippet ring and then i've been building my leader off of that so i've got 3x off of there there's about six foot three x an old lanyard on uh, if you don't know already this lanyard's from golden trout lanyards i've been using steve's lanyards now for like a long time and uh, I don't ever want to use another lanyard, they're awesome. If you already use a lanyard or you're thinking about switching like from a vest to a lanyard system, go to Golden Trout Lanyards, it's all linked in the description below. Check them out, you won't find a better lanyard. But what I have started doing is my tag ends, I've been uh, snipping off and then into my hip pack here. So uh, I don't leave them on the ground so much. I might just chuck a little elk hair cat is on for now. It's a new one, so I'm going to take that barb off. And then I'm not going to put a, I'm not going to put a dropper on right now. Not till I actually find a fish to fish to. And then I'll work it out from there. I really think I'm going to get a fish to eat off the top today. And that's us to start with. And the other thing, I'm very, very excited about this. I've got a new net from Rising. Look at the blue! Oh! I've been nagging him about getting a blue net for a long time now. I finally wore them down and uh, this turned up yesterday. So, oh, look how good that is. Just, <sighs> these nets are just, they're so good. So this is the Lunker loop with a brookie handle and a really deep, this is the Lunker XL, I think, deep net. And I love, I love the shape of them. And uh, just, it lets that fish just sit in the net nicely recovering in the water. Nice deep net bag so you can keep them submerged. Rubber mesh, so you know, it's better for the fish. All made in the States and they're just bulletproof. They're bulletproof. So, I'm gonna try and christen that today. All right, that's enough ramble. Let's try and find the fish. Put a fly in front of it, eh? Here we go, here we go, get ready. Got him, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish too. Noise. Oh, wonder that. Where are you going, dude? Whoa, coming back, coming back, coming back. Real quick. Oh, and he's off. 
Well played, fish. Well played. Just so cool. Hopefully it came out. It was, it was just so cool. Just one cast, off to his side, straight away, turned over, ate it, slow motion. Oh, doesn't get any better. Well, I love this river. <laughs> Five seed bread, hummus, mustard, lettuce, cheese, pepperoni, salami, and some pepper onion. It's damn good. There's a good fish down there. He was just sitting on that shelf, we just moved out to that deep stuff. He's just moving around eating. I'm very confident I could probably catch, or well, hook him at least. But then I can't actually get to that other side, which is where I'd need to fish to him from. Certainly if I want to land him. It's a really good fish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave him. Because what's the point in putting a hook in a fish if you've got zero chance of landing him? There he goes, over there. So cool to watch fish. Sixteen peacock pointer, unweighted. So when you're using unweighted flies like this, just to help get them to break the surface and sink a little bit, just cover them with a bit of spit, and that'll do it. That way, they won't get stuck in the surface. Bit.
tell you what, it just doesn't get any better than this. Beautiful day, no wind, brown trout are out. Brilliant day, brilliant day. Airplanes, oh. Coming over. Oh, I almost ate my dry. Oh, he's still looking. Hey, oh, he ate the nymph. Oh. He refused my dry, followed it around, circled, ate my nymph, but I missed him. Oh, he's still there. I wonder. Oh, I think he ate it again. Yep, and he's out of here. Ate my nymph twice. Off real quick. He's obviously looking up. Okay, here we go. Oh, he thought he's looking, he's looking. Yes! You need to turn around. Dude, turn around. Dude! Dude! Come on now, I can't follow you. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, bigger fish than I thought. Oh yeah, much bigger fish than I thought. Oh, that's a stunner. Maybe we can get below this uh, tree. Oh, that's sinky. Oh. Wicked fish of the day. Wow, that's a cool looking fish. <laughs> that was awesome, that was wicked. Fly landed, just kind of waited a bit, then kind of looked, followed, ate, real slow motion, and then just turned out to be a much bigger fish than I thought. She was so deep and fat. What a place, what a place, what a day. <sighs> Sick. Definitely see these. Got him. Oh, yes. That was on a new fly. Cool. Always good to get a fish on a new pattern. Didn't do much with him at the moment. Just burying his head. Just can't get it up right now. That's what she said. 
Maybe, 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 nope. <sighs> Solid fish. Really, really strong. Almost, almost. Oh, whoa, I need to slip in. Whew, whoa, and again. Man. Keep it up, keep it up. Yeah, nice man, what a beautiful fish. Quick look at this guy and I'm gonna get him back. Just like every other fish in here so far today. Just beautiful condition. Oh, just awesome, eh? Quick update, done a bit of walking there. Now numbers seem to be thinning out a little bit. See had a couple of fish, but super spooky, didn't even get near enough to cast. I saw a fish up here take off the top. So I've just been trying to kind of find a way that I can get a fly to him, because those banks are so steep. The access isn't that easy. And uh, just trying to get a fly to a fish is starting to become pretty difficult. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a crack at this. I saw him eat off the top, so worth a nudge for sure. A fish down here. I can actually, I was looking at a fish further up, um, but then I just saw this guy. I'm super close to him, too close to him, really. I'm surprised he's even, uh, even still there. But I'm gonna give this a shot because it'd be rude not to. Super pretty fish, just pretty pretty fish. Oh, uh oh, I'm falling into the river. This thing I'm kneeling on is dropping into the river. We need to end this. Oh yes.
Ah, uh, that was cool, man. That was a wicked way to end the day. What an amazing day. Exploration trips really don't get any better than that. You know, normally if you, if you go and look at somewhere new, you just hope to see a fish, maybe catch a fish, and then uh, you can kind of go back from there and work it out. To come to a place for the first time and have a day like today, that's, that's just amazing. Does it happen very often? Doesn't happen very often at all. Half the fun of fishing is actually just going and exploring new places because you never know what's there. It's super exciting. I'm actually going to stay out, going to sleep in the truck, and I'm going to go somewhere different tomorrow and have a look at that place. Hopefully that will make a video for next week. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, boop, hit the button, join the team. It'd be great to have you along. If you do watch these videos and you haven't subscribed, please just click that button. Help grow the channel. It'd be awesome. Have yourselves a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.